Are you annoyed with the number of apps that crowd your home screen? Maybe you've even welcomed the new app library that Apple introduced in iOS 14, and we can expect to see on iPadOS 15, which gathers all your apps into various categories and displays them on a separate page to the right of your home screen. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS. In this video, I'll walk you through organizing your home screen along with an easy way to find your apps with just a few clicks. If you find this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos posted to my channel. Let's get started. The app library not only adds automatic organization to your iPhone home pages, but it allows you to hide as many apps as you want. You can keep your favorite apps right where you need them and your less used apps out of the way. There are several ways to organize your current apps. You can remove individual apps from the home screen, you can hide an entire screen of apps, or you can organize several apps by putting them inside a folder. To hide an individual app, you'll need to press on the selected app and hold it until the menu appears. When the menu appears, you want to select the red area that says Remove App. Now you're given another option. You can delete this app if you choose, or you can just remove it from the home screen, which will then add that app back in to the app library. So I'm gonna choose remove from home screen. And now that app has been removed from this home screen and placed in the app library. You can also hide an entire page of apps and get rid of that page. And since it's really easy to restore the page, it's a great way to hide groups of apps that you only use occasionally. To do this, all you need to do is tap and hold on the page until the apps jiggle. And then select the dots at the bottom of your screen. These signify how many pages are available. So I'm going to select that. And here are all of the pages that I have available to me that I've created. And I can easily, by unchecking the check marks, hide these pages and add new ones. So I've created six pages. And right now, the ones that I have showing are just my apps and the apps that are in folders. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and select three pages that I've created that have widgets and then my most recent apps and then another page that has widgets. And I'm going to uncheck the apps uh, that I have in the other two pages to hide them. When I'm finished, I'm going to tap done and then I'm going to tap done again. And as you can see, now the pages that I've created previously are showing and if I go all the way over to the last page all of my apps are here inside of the app library. You can also organize your apps into folders. Using folders on the home screen allows you to gather similar apps together and save space. You won't be completely hiding the apps, they'll still be there, but they'll all be located in one place. To create a folder, just long press on any application, and then you'll be able to drag that app anywhere you want on the screen. Just drag it on top of the app that you want to group it with and drop it. And now you'll see that a folder has been created called Utilities. When you're finished, just tap outside the area of the folder and tap Done. If you want to change the name of the folder, you can do so by just long pressing on the folder. And when you do, uh, a menu appears. Go ahead and tap on Rename, and then rename the folder to the title that best suits that group of applications. If you want to remove an app from the folder, just simply tap on the folder to open it. 
grab hold by pressing and holding and then dragging the application outside the folder and dropping it onto the home screen. If I were to go back in and grab this other application as well, you'll notice that the folder then will disappear. Tap on done and now you're back to your home screen. Locating any of your apps is easy. That's where the iPhone and iPad search function can come in handy. Place your finger on an empty area of the home screen and then just pull down. The search bar as well as a virtual keyboard will appear. Start typing in the name of the app that you want to search for. And as soon as you start typing in a few letters, that application will appear. Then you can just tap on it to open. iOS search is compelling. If you're a fast typer, you may find it faster to do a quick search for an app by entering a few letters, then swiping across multiple screens and digging through folders. Just like that, you have four easy ways to organize and locate your apps without having to delete any of them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.